Hey guys, it's Fluxty here, and today we're going to be doing a tutorial for getting Matic on the Polygon network so that you can play micro buddies, pay for the gas fees and all that. We're going to be going through one of the more in-depth methods so that by the end of it, you'll be able to use DeFi in a number of ways. You'll know how to swap your Matic into Ethereum on Polygon so that you can buy micro buddies on OpenSea or just play the game or even switch back to dollars while still being on the blockchain so that you can easily get between all the currencies um, with only a Coinbase and a MetaMask account. So. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right, so first I wanna briefly cover some common questions and honorable mentions. So first off, why did we choose the Polygon network? Um, first, first one should be fairly obvious, lower gas fees. On Ethereum, when you're playing micro buddies, you could be paying 100 to 500 or more dollars per transaction because the gas fees are just that high. We wanted to get those gas fees to less than a dollar, less than 10 cents, less than five cents in some situations with Matic. Um, so that's a big selling point. You have to learn a little bit more, but we expect the learning curve to shrink over time. So next is OpenSea and pretty much all the integrations that um, go from Ethereum to Polygon compared to other integrations on other networks that don't necessarily have these. Uh, Matic and XDAI, I believe, are the only two OpenSea integrations at the current time. So. This is really important. Um, OpenSea is the main NFT platform for the Ethereum network. And so the crossover is very simple, um, just going from ETH to Polygon when it uses the same platform. So uh, the third point is often overlooked, I think, in gaming, especially crypto gaming. So random number generation is very important to um, video games. That's what RNG is. And on the blockchain, typically random numbers are deterministic, which basically means people can predict them. And so like you could like game the system to where you're guaranteed to get an exalted trade in your next replication, that kind of thing, um, which is very dangerous. So we needed to pick a blockchain that was capable of generating real randomness. Um, and the only way to really do that right now is it generated off chain and Chainlink is one of the main providers of that. A lot of blockchains have Chainlink, but only three uh, to date have VRF. So there's other chains being worked on, but VRF is verifiable random function. That's the main way to get randomness off chain that belongs to Ethereum, which gas fees are too high. Binance Smart Chain, which is, you know, I don't have a problem with it, but maybe a little bit too careless about the centralized side of things whenever we're trying to decentralize item ownership in a video game. Plus they don't have the common integrations like OpenSea and stuff that Polygon has. And and then there's Polygon. So Polygon seems like ultimately the, the best choice of the current time for a blockchain game that fits our specific use case. So uh, that, that should handle that, you know, maybe in the future it'll get better, but yeah. So, Acquisition methods. Uh, so how exactly do you get Matic? So there's a few ways. Um, the easiest, it might be crypto.com. That's not the one we're gonna be going over in this video um, for reasons I'll get to later, but crypto.com is a centralized exchange. You'd probably sign up on it, do KYC, link your bank account, just like any other exchange. And then you can actually buy Matic and then withdraw it straight to your Polygon Network MetaMask account, which is pretty straightforward. Um, the only issue I've seen with centralized exchanges can be the number one, the fees. And number two, a lot of times they're, I think, I think it's their liquidity that runs dry on the network because a lot of times the uh, withdrawals to the Polygon network will close down. Now, crypto.com might not have this problem. I haven't personally used it. Um, so it might be worth a shot. Next is bridges. And specifically, we're talking about Ethereum bridges because we're going to be using a non-ETH bridge or, or at least we're gonna be using a bridge, but not on the Ethereum blockchain today. So uh, bridges uh, on ETH, the problem with them is that the, you still have Ethereum gas fees to use it, but these can be useful if you have, for example, bought Matic on Coinbase and then sent it to your MetaMask wallet, not knowing that it was the Ethereum network that you were sending the money to and not Polygon. So you might wanna just bridge that um, money, that Matic over. And so note that you will need Ethereum to bridge the Matic or to bridge Ethereum just to pay the gas fee. So you have to buy uh, Ethereum on Coinbase and then send that to your MetaMask as well. Um, a couple options, the Polygon bridge. So this is the main one, uh, most trusted, greatest liquidity, um, great bridge. Then there's the Umbria bridge and I'm sure there's others, but Umbria bridge is really cool. Um, someone we've been talking to, uh, they, they seem to have gotten like some new tech down that really brings down the gas fees for bridging on ETH, which is really cool. So uh, worth a look. So the other option is now KuCoin. So this is another centralized exchange, except with this method, you don't necessarily have to do KYC on KuCoin. So it's kind of uh, much faster and seamless. You basically uh, buy a low gas fee token like Algorand and then uh, on Coinbase, and then you send that to your KuCoin exchange account. 
and then you trade the Algorand for USDT, and then you trade the USDT for Matic, and then you withdraw the Matic to the Polygon network because it has Polygon withdrawals. Again, it has the same problem since it's a centralized exchange of sometimes not having those network withdrawals available. So I'm not super happy about this method because it's super inconsistent. Um, but the next one is the one we are gonna be going over today, my personal favorite, the AVAX method. So this only needs Coinbase. Um, you are going to send it to your MetaMask wallet and have to do a lot of bridging, jumping between networks and stuff. But what I think is that this is a great learning experience. You can learn the DeFi space really well. And by the end of it, you're going to know how to swap between all kinds of assets. You're going to know how to swap your Matic to USDC so that if you want to get out of the network um, very quickly and even stay, stay on the blockchain while you do it, you'll be able to do that. You'll be able to swap USDC or Matic to ETH, which, you know, ETH is what you use on Polygon to buy uh, NFTs on OpenSea. So if you want to buy micro buddies, you'll be able to do that. And, and pretty much any other coin, if you end up finding another cool coin that you like, you'll know how to swap to it. Uh, so I think this is the best method and we're going to hop into that. Our objective here is to minimize the fees as much as possible. I think we'll end up spending like seven or $8 in fees in total, um, with a $500 deposit, which is not bad at all. So let's hop into it, uh, on Coinbase right now. Okay. So now I'm over here on Coinbase. And one thing I want to go over is this, we're not going to do this as simply as you would normally, because our objective here is to reduce the fees as much as possible. So I'm going to start by going to buy slash sell up here in Coinbase. Um, for this, I'm going to do 500 bucks. Okay. And, and now you might be tempted. What we're basically going to do is ultimately we're going to get avalanche, uh, that that's the token AVAX. Um, and so what you might be tempted to do is you come over here and you type in AVAX and you, and you try to buy this. Um, the issue with this is that there's going to be a fee. So I can actually go to preview buy here and we can look at it. I'm going to have to uh, blur out some of the details most likely. But so you have a price of $87 right now. You have purchased, then you have this Coinbase fee. You see this is $7 and 30%. So that's, that's quite high, um, at least for my tastes, <laughs> um, because we can get those fees down. So what I'm going to show you here is that we can actually buy USDC on Coinbase, $500 worth. Let's preview this purchase. And what we'll see is that there's a Coinbase fee of $0. Okay, so this is a much better um, place. You're not completely out of the woods with fees. I'm going to show you a method to really bring it down so you're not, you know, paying paying such a heavy, heavy total. So um, we're not going to make this a weekly buy. Um, we will be able to send the amount instantly because uh, we have that ability. Uh, depending on your account and your verification level, you might not, you might have to wait for this, the funds to clear in your bank account. So don't be alarmed if you can't like send them right away. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and buy this. Okay. And we've got our USDC. Uh, it, it might take a little bit. I fast forwarded this part of the video. So now we're here, you can view transaction if you like. Um, but what we're actually going to do is we're just going to hop right over to Coinbase Pro. So there, there's going to be links for all this in the description, but this is pro.coinbase.com. So if you see my other tab, I'm on coinbase.com. This is pro.coinbase.com, same company. Um, and, it, and it's very simple. You just go over here to portfolios. Um, after you're signed in, of course, log in with your Coinbase account, you can do all that. Um, and then once you're in your portfolio, you'll want to do a deposit. Okay. So I'm going to go to deposit. And we're going to let this load up for us. And then we're going to find USDC because that's what we just bought on Coinbase. We're going to want to deposit our coinbase.com USDC. So we're going to choose coinbase.com here. And you'll see that I have $500 available to deposit. That's because I just bought $500 on Coinbase. So I'm going to go ahead and send that over. I guess I get like an extra penny or something, <laughs> probably because of the interest that you kind of just passively get on Coinbase um, that I maybe had from before or something. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and deposit this into Coinbase. And again, you notice there's a fee, no fee is $0. So I can send my USDC that I got for no fee to Coinbase Pro. Still no fees as of yet, um, but we'll get there. Um, okay, so the next thing we're going to do, now that I have my USDC, is we're going to head over to the trading. So this is um, just trading. I'm going to stick with market for this um, just because it's less complicated. I mean, I'm sure many of you know how to use limit orders, uh, but we'll just stick with market for this. Um, so. First, we want to go up here to select market and we click that and then search for AVAX. Um, so we have AVAX USD here. Um, so the first thing you'll notice here is that your balance for USD is actually shows nothing. In my case, four cents. I have four cents left over from previous trade. So what you actually have to do is you have to get USD. <laughs> so we're going to go back to our portfolio um, and we're going to actually change this USD coin, convert to USD. See that button on the right in our portfolio? Um, so we're going to do that. 
uh, and then we're going to max this out again. And so now we can convert. And again, there is no fee with this conversion. So we can convert between USDC and USD freely all we want. Um, now we'll come back over to trade. And now we have our $500. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and max this thing out. I want to buy as much AVAX as possible. And now the important thing here, this is, this is where it kind of gets tricky because if you don't want to be in the coin, you want to get through this as quickly as possible. I personally do not mind being an AVAX that, that much. It's, it's a pretty strong coin in my opinion. So I'm going to go ahead and buy this and buy the maximum that I can. You saw there was a $2 and 50 cents fee. So that's a lot less than $8 fee, you know, <laughs> uh, many multiples. So now we have 5.647 AVAX. And now what we can do is we can withdraw the AVAX to our wallet. So um, what I like to do here is first off, uh, I need the AVAX uh, chain because we're going to be withdrawing not to Ethereum. So this is where I'm going into my MetaMask. I have a kind of uh, almost fresh setup here trying to uh, demo this. So if I go to my wallets, I have a bunch of different blockchains that I've added in the past, but I don't have Avalanche. So if I were to send this Avalanche, which I can do, okay? So I'm going to go back to my MetaMask. I'm going to copy this address. Okay. And then I'm going to go to AVAX and I'm going to go over here to withdraw. You don't ha necessarily have to click the AVAX. Um, that's just kind of a helpful guide. Um, you can just go find it in the withdraw list if you want. So I'm withdrawing to a crypto address. Okay. And then I can withdraw to AVAX. Okay. And that's my wallet address. I can go up here and double check if I really want. Um, what I, I'll show you what I like to do um, since this disappears after I do that. I'm going to do this. Um, then I'm going to have the 5.634 AVAX. Then I'm going to click withdraw. Um, you can see there's a network fee of 0 0.013 AVAX, uh, which is, you know, it's it's something, but not much. So I'm going to enter my two-step verification here. I'm going to have to hide that part, of course. Okay, so we're back. Uh, our AVAX transfer has completed. So we can see that right here. If we go to our AVAX coin, we go to withdraws, we come right here, we can see that our 5.64 AVAX that we got out um, has now completed. We even get a transaction hash here, which will take us to snow trace, which is the scanner um, where you can view confirmations. You can see stuff about your wallet. Okay. So now what I'm going to look for is where is my AVAX? So I come up here to Ethereum. I'm on the Ethereum mainnet in my MetaMask um, and I don't see my AVAX, right? Um, so you, you can't import token for this either. Um, this is actually on a different blockchain called Avalanche. So what we're trying to do today is get our money to the Polygon blockchain, but now we're on the AVAX blockchain. So what I'm gonna wanna do, and what I like to do, the easiest way for me uh, and probably anyone uh, to kind of get this is we're gonna go on the swap. So this is TraderJoeXYZ.com. Again, there's gonna be a link in the description. You have to be very careful with the sites you're going to, to make sure you're not you know, entering a phishing site or anything. The number one rule here is just, if a site is asking for your private key, you're on the wrong site, okay? Um, so I'm gonna accept this token update. It's not a big deal. They've just like changed some tokens around. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect my wallet. So I'm gonna connect the MetaMask wallet. Um, I'm going to connect this MicroBuddies One wallet that I have, and then I'm going to go ahead and finish the connection here and just making sure, you know, if there's any kind of scammy transaction or something, they're trying to pull one over on me. You, you, you never know. So um, you can see now that I'm on the wrong network. Um, it gives me this option to switch to the Avalanche chain. And what will happen when I click this is it will actually go ahead and suggest adding the site to the network for me. So this is the easiest way to get the Avalanche um, C chain is what we're using in this case um, to our to our MetaMask. So. We'll go ahead and do that. Um, this warning is just, I mean, it happens all the time. It can be mostly dismissed as long as you're on a site you trust. Um, so we're gonna switch the network here. There we go. Now we're on the Avalanche chain and now we can connect our wallet. Oh, that is actually the other side that we're gonna do. We've already connected our wallet at this point. So we'll come back to that. That was just dismissed that part. So, okay. So now we're on the Avalanche C chain and um, you can see our AVAX. We have it, it's fine in here. Um, and so there it is, okay. So now what do we do? Um, now that we're on Trader Joe already, we can actually go to this trade panel. Um, and the first thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna try to get um, a different currency that we can bridge, okay? So, cause we're gonna bridge from the AVAX network instead of Ethereum network because the gas fees are much lower here. So what can we bridge? Um, my favorite two options for this are USDC and ETH. So if you want ETH, you're gonna go with weeth.e. Uh, everything on AVAX or a lot of the coins on AVAX are just prefixed or, or suffixed with a dot E. Um, what I'm going to use today is USDC because this one's just stable. I don't have to like go and look at um, what the price of the token is on, on Polygon to make sure that like, you know, all the liquidity is good and like uh, they're not going to lose a lot of money in the transfer. 
I just like the stable. Um, if you're if you're trying to get ETH so that you can buy micro buddies on OpenSea, you could swap AVAX for ETH here and then bridge ETH over to Polygon. That's perfectly fine. Just make sure you have some Matic. Um, but this is the first step of the process. Whenever you get to this point, though, here, here we're going to swap. Um, make sure you don't swap the whole balance, okay? Because now that you're on the Avalanche network, all the gas fees must be paid for in Avalanche, okay? So that's the AVAX token for sure. That's the ticker you can think of it as. Um, so we don't want to use all of our gas or else we'll be stranded. We'll swap to this 496 some, you know, USDC and then we'll be we'll be stuck on the network because we don't have any well, we won't have any gas, sorry. Um what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just do 5 AVAX, okay? Um you can do more. I would say you could do, you know, if I have I have 5.6, I could probably get away with 5.45. I could probably even get away or no, I could get away with 5.5, right? I could probably get away with 5.55. Um but I like to have a little bit of extra and plus I like the AVAX token, so I don't really mind if I have some extra exposure to it. Um so I'll just keep that at I'll keep 0.6 for gas, okay? Um now I'm going to get $441 for this. And again, that's not my full 500 because I'm not converting the whole balance. If I were to convert something closer, you know, now we're, you know, there's only a $10 trim here and that money is still in my wallet. It's just set aside. Um, so again, I'm just going to do five here. We're going to go ahead and swap this over to USDC. Um, I'm going to confirm the swap. Everything looks good. You do want to double check to make sure everything looks good here. We know it's $88 per AVAX and that was about the same on Coinbase. Um, there's a very low price impact. Liquidity provider fee is pretty good. Um, so there we go. Uh, we, we waited a little bit long, so we could just click update to get the price update and there we go. All right. So let's go ahead and get through this price. Didn't change that much there. There's our transaction. There's a 39 cent gas fee. So not bad at all. Um, compared to Ethereum, especially, uh, I'm just verifying everything looks good here. And yeah, we're going to confirm that. And if you want, you can also view in Snowtrace. So I'm going to exit out of this old Snowtrace. And uh, it will take a little bit to show up just by the nature of the um, the block uh, processing. You can see if you just submitted the transaction, please wait for at least 30 seconds before refreshing the page. Uh, I kind of refreshed instantly there. Um, but you can see my transaction completed either way. Um, so maybe it'll take a little bit. Oh, there we go. OK, so one thing you can do here is um, if I go to my wallet now, now we have this issue where I don't see my uh, USDC. <laughs> uh, so I'll come over here. Uh, there's a few ways to do this. Oh, actually, we come down here. So it depends on the swap you're on. So USDC -E to wallet. There's just a button right here. So I click that. And of course, it will get added to my MetaMask wallet. And you can do this before or after you do that. It doesn't matter when. Uh, the Meta MetaMask is just a way to view the money you have on the blockchain. It literally doesn't matter if you add the token or not. I could, I could use USDC even if I didn't have the token added to my MetaMask. Um, so that's a nice thing to know that you don't have to add it right away. Um, so there's my $441 uh, dollars that I got in here. And so now what do we do? Now we need to come over and bridge, okay? So the next step of that is on this site called Multichain. And this is what I got a wallet prompt from earlier. Okay, so I'll include another link to this in the description. So this is the bridging component. <laughs> um, and so, I've got it set up for USDC. Um, I'm going to need to connect my wallet to the site. I'm going to connect MetaMask again, same as before, same with Trader Joe. Um, we're going to use that MicroBuddy One wallet. Uh, there we go. We connect our wallet. Looks good. And now we have the ability to bridge. So uh, we've got USDC here. And you can see here that there's 16,000 or Actually, I think that's 16 million. So that's a lot of liquidity. So there's 16, you can send up to $16 million um, through this pool. So I think we're good with our 440. Um, and so there we go. We just got our balance update. The blockchain takes a little while to read. So you can see there's like a dollar, well, you know, about a dollar, like 90 cents fee, right? So we can see that right here. Uh, there's a cross chain fee, minimum amount you can send is $12. You'll send at least 12 um, and max is 20 million in this case. Um, it's actually 16.8 million. If you want to get that money instantly, that gets more into the technicals of a bridge. If you send more than the liquidity amount. Um, so the estimated time is 10 to 30 minutes. So we're going to do this and we're going to come back and I'll let you guys know what the actual time ended up being. Um, oh, you, <laughs> you want to be careful. I almost swapped uh, here to BSC. So you want to be careful. So just to explain what this page is doing, um, this is USD coin on the AVAX mainnet, which is where we're at right now. So we can look in our MetaMask, of course, and we can see we're on the AVAX mainnet. Um, and we're swapping to USDC on 
the Binance Smart Chain. So we don't want to do the Binance Smart Chain. We want to do Matic. Okay. So that's a very um, important thing to notice. <laughs> um, okay. So basically nothing changes here. We just want to make sure we're going to Matic. So do make sure that you're doing USDC coin from AVAX to USDC coin on Matic. Okay. You're doing this exact transaction. And what will happen here is just going to swap the network for you. So I'm going to first approve USDC. So this is multi-chain basically saying, Hey, we need a, we need permission to spend your USD coin. Okay. On your behalf. And I'm going to go in a little bit of detail here, um, just to show you guys really the technical rundown here. Um, just so you know that you're safe. Um, this is the fee it's 12 cents. I could just go confirm and we're good, but I'm going to show you a little bit of the deep, deeper side of this. Um, this is where we can set the gas. Um, and this here is where we can set the permission. So this edit permission button, um, you'll see that by default, I'm approving a spend of you know, basically unlimited USDC. This is a very large number. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. Um, just because I use multi-chain a lot and I, and I trust the, the platform, but you do need to acknowledge that if there's any issues, if the, if the, if you're approving any token, uh, on a, on any service, any DAP or decentralized application, you, you are at risk if you're improving, approving unlimited of of funds loss, um, just because if the platform is, or the DAP is a scam or there's some kind of exploit, someone could exploit this unlimited approval and spend all your USDC. If you have extra USDC in the wallet, you can always come here to custom spend and you can enter a smaller number. Um, so I'm just going to keep it as infinite. Um, just because again, you don't have to keep approving over and over again. I could put it to 441 just so it only approve the amount. You can do that if you want to be safe. So just letting you guys know. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and confirm that. All right. So. Our USDC was just approved. Um, that was just a single transaction. Now we're going to do the swap and this one's going to take 10 to 30 minutes. Um, so in this case, three to 30 minutes, we're going to see what the actual time is. And I'll let you guys know, it's always going to depend on the network traffic, um, and whoever's bridging and all kinds of, all kinds of variables. Um, so I'm just reviewing the details here. It's going to send it to the same wallet, my 440 yep, to polygon. We're going to the right place. We've got a 0% cross chain fee, which is great. Uh, the gas fee is 90 cents. So we're going to confirm that. And then we're going to confirm it in our MetaMask, 22 cent gas fee. So that's again, not bad at all. Um, and there we go. So now the bridge is happening. And again, I'll check back in with you guys when this one's approved. All right. And we're back. So that process took about 10 minutes for me and the screen that was showing the bridging actually closed, unfortunately, but it was still showing routing even after the transaction had been completed. And so one of the ways you can see that is by going over here to polygon scan. Um, really all you do is you put in your wallet address. So I already had it pulled up here, but, um, just to note, even though I'm on the avalanche main net, my wallet address is going to be the same, whether I'm on polygon avalanche, Ethereum, it doesn't matter. So polygon scan is the blockchain scanner. Uh, I'll go back to the homepage and just enter my address. This is the blockchain scanner for polygon. So um, you know, Avalanche has theirs, which is that snow trace site. And then, you know, Polygon's Polygon has theirs, which is Polygon scan. Um, so you can see, I have my USDC here, uh, you know, minus the 90 cents that I had for the bridging fee. Um, now what I need to do is I need to get into the Polygon network. So I'm on the Avalanche mainnet in my, uh, MetaMask. You can see I can get to Ethereum and get all these other chains that I've added in the past, but I don't have uh, Matic on here. So how do I do that? So what I do is I'll go to app.microbuddies.io. So it's just like with Trader Joe, whenever you go to app.microbuddies.io, it's going to automatically suggest to add the chain you need for that, that, uh, application. So this is the Polygon mainnet. It's just asking me, uh, if I want to add that. So I'm going to approve it and then I'm going to choose to switch to it. And now I'm connected to microbuddies. So this new pop-up is just a different site that I'll show later in the, uh, the steps, but that, so don't worry about that one. Um, and so now I'll actually connect my wallet to micro buddies. Uh, of course this is a fresh MetaMask setup, so I'm not going to have any micro buddies for this, but here you go. Now we're connected, but we still have an issue. So number one, we can't see our USDC. So this is not like a uh, game ending here, but the way you can get that is you can just go to this USD coin here, you just open it up and click that little one. And then you can copy this contract address right here and you can then go to import tokens and you can paste that right in right here. Uh, the other option is that you can use the swap and do it kind of like you did on Trader Joe, but that's, you know, um, maybe outside the scope uh, to go over like all the different methods of getting a token in your wallet. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's simple. Um, okay. So now we have the USDC, but I still have no Matic, so I cannot pay for gas fees. So it's pretty useless. Like this, this USDC is just stranded here. I can't really do anything with it. I can't trade it. I can't 
do anything. So how do I get Matic? Um, and so the way you do that, I'm gonna close out of this now, is I go over here to Polygon Web Wallet. Okay, so I'll include another link to this in the description as well. So this is wallet.polygon.technology. It'll automatically take you to this login page. I'm gonna log in with my MetaMask, again, to my MicroBuddies One account. And there we go. Now we're connected and now we have to sign a message. So this is a very simple message. You do have to watch out with signatures. Malicious signatures can charge you funds. Like it can use those infinite approvals that we're talking about, those pesky things. <laughs> uh, you can sign a message approving stuff. Um, so you gotta watch out for this, but this is a trustworthy site. Uh, you know, it's Polygon's official site. They're, they're, they're a reputable DAP, right? So we're gonna go ahead and sign in. Now we're here. Um, you're just gonna go to Polygon Wallet. And then you're going to go to swap for gas token. Okay. So I'm going to go for five Matic. Um, you can spend Matic eh, somewhat quickly, especially if the gas fees get up. So, um, you know, it's at like $2 right now around that, you know, hovering around that area. So I'm going to go for five Matic. That's about 10 bucks. Um, you can go for more if you want, but this is just to get gas. So this isn't a huge deal yet. Um, and I'll show you how to get more Matic if you do want to do that. Um, so I'm going to select the token. Obviously I'm going to choose USDC coin or USD coin. Sorry. Um, because that's the only coin I have. So I'm going to convert this, uh, and you can see it's ten dollars and thirty-eight cents for the five matic that I want. First, I got to approve. So you saw this on Trader Joe. Now, Wallet.Polygon.Technology wants me to approve um, the spend, and so it's actually doing it with a signature here. So I'm going to go ahead and sign that. All right, and now we're going to go ahead and swap. All right, so we get another signature transaction, which is again, this is because there is no gas fee associated with this, so we have to do a big uh, transaction to swap the money because we don't have gas, so they're helping us out. All right, so we can view this one on Polygon Scan as well. All right, we can see it's pending here. Um, and also don't be uh, alarmed if you get an error on this. Uh, sometimes sometimes it shows like they had a hiccup on their network or something, just refresh the page and do it again if that happens. All right, so it looks like it went through. Let's check our wallet. Let's see if it updated our balance yet. Yep, there we go. We've got our five Matic. So. Now we've got the USDC, we've got the Matic. We can go play Micro Buddies to our heart's content now. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you one more bonus thing. Uh, just because now we're here, we can go through all the pages, we can play the game, we have the gas fees, but let, let me show you how to get other tokens because that's kind of important. So that's this site, QuickSwap. So QuickSwap.exchange, again, this is like Trader Joe that we just used earlier for Avalanche, but this is the swap for Polygon instead of Avalanche. Um, you know, Trader Joe for Avalanche, QuickSwap for Polygon, Uniswap for Ethereum, and then there's a bunch of other swaps. So these are kind of like the top dog swaps on the individual chains. So I'm going to connect my wallet to this and I'm going to show you a little bit of a swap here. So there's MicroBuddies One, um, view the address and refer to the accounts, of course. And now here, um, so there's our Matic balance and we're going to actually pull up USDC here because that's our other token. I'm going to click this arrow because this will swap the trade around. So I like say I want more Matic, right? So let's say maybe I want 10 more Matic, okay? So I can do that. 10 more Matic, that's $20, okay? So I'll, I'll go ahead and show that. So this is approved USDC. Again, we're approving the transaction. We're gonna approve unlimited because we're gonna be in here a lot. Um, approve that. We can also swap this again. We can like search for other tokens too. We can go to like ETH, which is great. Um, if you wanna buy micro buddies on OpenSea, that's all priced in ETH. So you can swap for ETH right here. Um, and while that is approving, we can just kind of look at this. So we went Coinbase, uh, buy some, buy like $500 of USDC. That's what we did there. Coinbase Pro, move the USDC to Coinbase Pro, convert it to USD, trade it for Avalanche. <laughs> um, then withdraw the Avalanche to our MetaMask, then trade the Avalanche for USDC, but leave some for gas, leave some money, and then multi-chain USDC, um, USDC Avalanche, that's going to ask us to swap wall if we try to do all this now, but it goes USDC from Avalanche to USDC to Matic, right? And we bridge it over. Okay. And so then after that, we use this to swap some of that USDC for Matic gas. And now we can play micro buddies. We can also come to quick swap. We can swap more USDC or USDC for more Matic, or we can swap USDC for ETH. We can swap for everything. Um, and that's how we can get stuff on OpenSea. Okay. Um, so I know this is quite an involved process. Uh, it's not super easy to get down right away. I'm going to include additional, like just the quick steps in the description. If you just kind of want to re-reference this as you're learning, um, might be helpful to follow along this video. 
you'll notice of me doing a lot of clicking and stuff like that, going to all these transactions, making sure they're all going through. You don't have to do any of that. Most of these sites are very um, reputable, battle tested and great. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for your interest in learning this new tech. I definitely think it's going to be worth it guys, as it gets easier and easier for the masses to come into this. We're already going to be here. We're going to have our feet planted. We know the value of it. Um, and you know, just have fun, enjoy the game. See you guys around.